do you believe in fate, Neil? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. I like to be reminded this city survives because of these machines. All those people still plugged into the Matrix, and when I look at these machines, I, I can't help thinking that in a way we are plugged into them. But we control these machines, they don't control us. It does make one wonder just what is control? If we wanted, we could shut these machines down. What would happen to our lights? Our heat, our air. So we need machines and they need us. Candy? Do you already know if I'm going to take it? Wouldn't be much of an oracle if I didn't. But if you already know, how can I make a choice? Because you didn't come here to make the choice. You've already made it. You're here to try to understand why you made it. We're not here because we're free. We're here because we're not free. There's no escaping reason, no denying purpose. Because as we both know, without purpose, we would not exist. You are here because you were sent here. You were told to come here and then you obeyed. <laughs> it is, of course, the way of all things. You see, there is only one constant. One universal, it is the only real truth. Causality. Action, reaction, cause, and effect. Everything begins with choice. No, wrong. Choice is an illusion created between those with power and those without. You give me Neo, or we all die right here, right now. You are really ready to die for this man. Believe it. She'll do it. If she has to, she'll kill every one of us. She's in love. It is remarkable how similar the pattern of love is to the pattern of insanity. Time's up. Why am I here? Your life is the sum of a remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the Matrix. You are the eventuality of an anomaly which, despite my sincerest efforts, I have been unable to eliminate from what is otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision. Where is this going? Where does it end? I don't know. You don't know or you won't tell me? I told you before, no one can see beyond a choice they don't understand. And I mean no one. What choice? It doesn't matter. It's my choice. I have mine to make, same as you have yours. You and I may not be able to see beyond our own choices, but that man can't see past any choice. Why not? He doesn't understand them. He can't. To him, they are variables in an equation. One at a time, each variable must be solved and counted. That's his purpose, to balance the equation. What's your purpose? To unbalance it. Why? What do you want? Everything that has a beginning has an end. I see the end coming. I see the darkness spreading. I see death. What is he? He is you. Your opposite, your negative. The result of the equation trying to balance itself out. Why keep fighting? You believe you're fighting for something, for more than your survival? Can you tell me what it is? Do you even know? Is it freedom or truth, perhaps peace? Could it be for love? Illusions, Mr. Anderson, vagaries of perception. Temporary constructs of a feeble human intellect trying desperately to justify an existence that is without meaning or purpose. And all of them as artificial as the Matrix itself. You must be able to see it, Mr. Anderson. You must know it by now. You can't win, it's pointless to keep fighting. Why, Mr. Anderson, why? Why do you persist? Because I choose to.